Hey fellas, welcome to my play- uh, uh, Welcome to my playthrough of Moth House. This is a game that came out two days ago, and it's about moths, if you, uh, if you could believe that. Um, 150 of you voted on the last drink poll, and believe it or not, the fucking mad cow pulled through, dude. We are drinking milk tea today, and I'm really glad about that because I was wondering when this would expire because there's no date on it at least not one that i can see yeah there's no date on this fucking thing so it's probably not even okay anymore but we're still gonna try it whoa that had a little bit too much gas in it uh all right well let's see it smells pretty sour <laughs> i don't know about this anymore but maybe that's just how it is i've never drank milk tea out of a can before Especially not original milk tea from Hawaii, so there is also that. There's like a really ominous with other natural flavors, but as far as I'm aware, I don't know what they mean by that. It has instant black tea in it, sucrose fatty acid esters, which are emulsifiers, and baking soda. Are those the other natural things? It should be illegal to put with other natural flavors and then in the ingredient list just put natural flavors. Like what does that mean? I guess we'll never know. It looks like milk tea though. Anyway, that's enough stalling. Let's try it. Um, it's milk tea. It's not bad actually. A lot of that black tea is coming through more than the milk tea. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but I think you know what I mean. It's a lot smoother than I expected, but it's also more watery than I expected. I don't know. I guess I'm fine with it. I hope it's not expired. If I don't post a video for a week, then I'm dead. Anyway, I guess I should remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, because I never do, and that's probably most likely hurting this channel. <laughs> I'm just, I just forget, okay? I'm not that kind of guy. Also, wishlist, I remember on Steam, it comes out at the end of this month, right after Resident Evil 4, because I'm an idiot and I don't plan ahead. But yeah, anyway, go go wishlist that game. It's going to be good. All right, let's play. Now that I got all the sponsored stuff out of the way. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch them. Then get those moths out of the house. Set them free. With all my love, your dad. Well, thanks, dad. Neither of us have names, but it's fine. I'll catch your moths. It sounds kind of insane. I probably wouldn't do it if it was me. But this looks cool, so I'll do it. I don't need to go back. Oh, the movement in this game is weird. It's like you're moving in a grid. Alright. That's a cool window. I guess I should say more about it than just it's a cool window. It's not a real window, obviously. It's an animated texture. Which is cool. And unique. Well, I guess not really unique, but... Oh, fuck me, man. I don't even know why that scared me at all. I think it was just loud. Yeah, 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 we'll go with that. We'll go with it was loud. So our dad loved bugs, right? More specifically... What? All right. No, 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 no one told me about the, the match mechanic, okay? Am I in, in a hurry? Do I have a limited amount of... Oh my god, there's a million moths. Um... You guys aren't moths, right? Are they just hidden anywhere and everywhere? I haven't been paying attention. No fucking way. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. 
Wait, wait, stop it. So I can't catch these, right? Use tab to go to backpack. Oh my god, I caught five American dagger moths and three... Three leopard moths. I don't know why I said it like that. I'll catch them all, dude. This is awesome. Fifteen and ten. Same thing. What am I... Oh, that is so... That is so trippy. I caught a radio. Oh, there it is. Huh. I don't know what you were, but you're all mine. I mean, we might as well catch all of them, right? What's... If we're gonna set them free, we're gonna set them all free. Huh. Oh, man, I'm gonna be doing this for centuries. They could be anywhere. How many did I get? I got 62 and 40 of those earlier ones, but we did get a Cecrophia moth and a 8-spotted Forester moth. And we got 10 of those. Alright, sounds good. Let's keep it up, I guess. We're like moth liberators. Man, oh man. Pick up. What is this? Different frequencies? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz. With the average value of around 30 to 60, the moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Oh, like the thing we have in our ears. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Interesting. So this would tell me where, when there's like a... Oh... Is there one around here? Or am I far from one? So am I getting closer? This is so weird. So wait, do you want me to be within that range or outside of it? Um, between 30 to 60. Yeah, I guess. I guess they want me to be within that range. So if I'm here, and I do this... Will they come, or...? The number does go up, maybe? No, it doesn't. That is so weird. It's locked. There's something big behind there. Probably a giant moth. I had to guess. Oh, baby. Hold on, let me pull this out real quick. Okay, so it does get louder. Now, now we catch. Catch all of them. They have no business being outside of my backpack. There's a cute duck on TV. Wait a second, who made this game? There's... No, no, it can't be the same guy, right? I'll have to check after. If it's the same guy, I'm gonna trip. I guess I should give context to what I'm saying, but there's, there's a guy who makes games and he puts a duck in all their games. Oh man, we got a million. All right, so we have... We now have 15 Luna Moths. Six Atlas Moths, which are the giant ones. 17 Grape Leaf Skeletonizer Moths. Cool. And that's it. Let's keep it up. I see you. No moth left behind. Great, more stuff. A crowbar. It's 
There's just so many. Get back here. Uh, I didn't get any new ones. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, let's read this. The Luna Moth is a species of moth found in North America. It is known for its striking appearance with large, pale green wings that have a distinctive shape and pattern. The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths... moths... <laughs> in North America. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking, with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The Luna Moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. But we have so many of them, I don't think it's that important to focus on them. I can cook, but I don't have recipes. Understood. I do have that, that's cool. Um, there's this bitch moth here, but he can stay. He doesn't want to get in the net. That's not a... That's not a catchable moth, right? No, I figured. They're like behind the walls or something. Hey, what's up, guys? No hiding in here. Nice. Um, any back here? Why does it sound like it's right outside the door? I hate that. Give me. What are these anyway? These are Cre Cretonatos Gangus moths. Cre Cretonatos, one of those. a really loud one behind that wall. Okay, we need a key. That means we gotta backtrack with our crowbar. That's okay. I've been meaning to do that anyway. Sweet. There you are. You guys are so loud. Yum, yum, yum. Awesome moths. All mine. Our dad was a fucking freak, though. We gotta admit that, right? Like, you could love moths, but even you gotta be like, okay, this is a bit much. You leave pizza on the ground, you know what I mean? Crowbar. You, you leave key item. Oh, what the fuck is that? Everybody... I... Oh, Jesus. I didn't mean to yell. I'm sorry. But somebody ran up the stairs... An alarming pace. Oh my god, 130. Oh, I hate whatever's happening right now. Okay. Let's cool it. Let's cool the jets. I don't know where to hide. If I can even hide. Can I catch it? Is it a big giant moth? Moths are attracted to light. Fucking catch them, dude. Shut up and catch. What is that? I don't care. Catch shit and go. And hide. Alright, which ones did we get? We got the Death's Head Hawk Moth, the Green Hawk Moth, and the Emperor Gum Moth. Dude, I, I suddenly have become very scared of moths. This is not okay. I didn't even catch everything that was here. I, I was just so scared. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't even hear it. That's what really freaks me out. That this thing doesn't have footsteps. It'll just catch us by surprise entirely. Oh! Stop it. Alright, what do we catch? We're playing this like a bitch. Shut up. Uh, we, did, we didn't get anything new. But damn, we have a ton of moths. 
Okay. Let's let's go this way. Let's see what's happening over here. Dude, it was right there, man. 83. It's climbing so fast. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Save recipe. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you fucking do that to me. I wonder what we can do with food. Oh, my God. Not enough ingredients. We can... We can... Cook moths? Why would we do that? Oh man, oh man. Alright. Let me let me grab a new match real quick. Oh no, it's it's here. Or it was here. It's just a terrifying sound. This is so fucked. Oh, no, 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 no. Too high. Number's too high. Okay. Let's try that again. What is that? Why does it go so high? Oh, no, 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 no. A hundred? Oh, fuck. What the hell? I can't! <laughs> I don't want to die to a moth. <laughs> That'd be such an embarrassing tombstone. It's around, dude. It's here. Oh, man, oh, man. I just, I just need to go. I just need to man up and go. But this guy's not ambidextrous. He can't catch with a left hand, you know? Oh my god, it's just, I think it's just there. I. What is the problem here? Why is he out for blood? Why does he hate me? I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. There's a fucking basement. <gasps> Did you see the amount of moths in there? And I'm expected just just be cool with that. Okay. Alright. We're just going in, dude. Can I hide anywhere? I'll save the recipe, sure. Fucking catch all the moths, dude. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, oh. It's a fucking flying moth. There really is nothing I could hide behind in here, huh? What did we get? We got a waved sphinx moth. Uh... And that's pretty much it. That's the only one that we ever found here. That is not cool. Um, alright. Well, let's get back to it. You, and you, and all of you. And now I hide. I think it, like, senses that I'm kidnapping its brothers. Okay, did I get anything new? The answer is no. No, we did not. This is tense, man. I don't want to go out there, but I have to. Is it coming this way? Can't tell. No. Oh, it is. Man, oh man, dude. What's oh, coming back?
It's just coming by a bit too much. It won't let me leave. All right, I'm out of there. Is there anything else around here? No. Okay, all right. So far, so good, I think. I just don't even know where I'd run to. You know what I mean? Can we cook anything? I guess we should check that. Oh, we can cook whatever this is. What do we get for cooking this? I don't know, but we made it. So... Is it like a lure? Like to trap them or something? Did we ever go this way? Oh, we need a key. Alright. Well, I don't know what to do with this giant pot of moth stew. But we have it, so... There's that. God, I hate it so much. I don't know where it went. That's like the biggest issue here. You just don't know. Fuck you, you stupid moth. I'll save the recipe, but I don't care about that right now. Holy shit. Just grab them all, dude. Just fuck it. Just loot. This is big loot here. It's a coming. Never mind the giant moth. You loot and you go. This is me giving myself a fucking pep talk. We Trust me, we do not want to be the guy that died to a moth. Think of the puns, you know? Oh, the amount of puns our family will be making about us. That's a giant moth. I don't know what this is, but I can go inside of it. We are missing four, seven moths. And I think I know where to find them. Yeah, baby. Check this shit out. So much loot. It's crazy. Oh, dude, that is so scary every time. It really, really is. Okay. That's enough moths, I think. Now he got scared. He was afraid. I don't know which way he went. Okay, so we still we're still missing seven. Look at the moths, man. This is crazy. So the Mothman does not come this way. I think we've established that. Um I kind of want him to come back over this way, just because I don't want to run into him when I go up. And worst case scenario, I could at least outrun him here. That is terrifying. Shut up, moth. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, yeah, get out of here. Alright, alright, time to make our sweet escape. This is uncharted territory. Okay, we're fucking leaving. I think we made the right call leaving. We reset, we're good. We're okay. Holy shit. So we just need those last seven, and then what? And then what? Can we leave? Well, we have to go that way.
I'm not too bothered by the moth this time. It's like he can't really see us that well. When I see him go down, that's when I'll make my run for it. I don't know where he went, but it sure wasn't that way. I need a head start in this next area because I don't... Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Because I don't understand it. So, alright, at least I don't know it, you know what I mean? It'd be nice if he would just go downstairs. Where the fuck... Oh my god! What are you doing there? Fuck it, we're looting. We're going up the stairs, I don't know where we are. This is no longer a joke. We are in the shit. And we're we're catching them all, dude. Whatever. Sure. Yep. Any moths in here? I don't understand. What is that? I don't understand. I don't know where he is, or where it is. Stop doing that. It's so scary. Oh, what? No. No, you can't do that. I cooked you a pot of moth stew. Oh, I'm not dead. And I actually have almost all of them except the white witch moth. We have the eo moth, the poly polyphemus moth, rosy maple moth, the brahmin moth, the hercules moth, and the comet moth, and the black witch moth. So now we just need the white moth. And who knows where that is? Probably in here. I don't know what it looks like. I think I just got one. Oh. I lied. I don't know where we are, but this is uh, a new problem that we have to deal with. Damn, we just have we just need one more, and then we could leave. Oh shit! Okay, he puts us in the basement that he himself cannot go to. Alright, so I think, honestly, we're doing pretty good here. Um, if there's anything we have to worry about, really, it's that uh, we have to go this way now. What is that? Why is he so close all of a sudden? Hi, Paul. It turns out the Lingua Moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. Oh, whoa. Okay, man. That's an incredible discovery already. They are capable of redacted. So I have to report that I'm going to redacted. I'm not sure I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. Redacted. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths. Just in case, I'll block the entrance. If something happens, then redacted. Cool, man. This is fucked. Oh, I know where we are. It's like doubly fucked. We just went in one big circle. Here we go again. I don't know where he is. I don't even know if he chases you. We haven't really seen him chase. We've just kind of run into him. I'm sure he does, though. Here he comes. Alright, buddy. What do you got in here? Anything? In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. 
The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was obsessed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. The, this incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communi communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has pledged to continuing studying and protecting this remarkable insect. Hmm. We found it in the rainforest? Why would it learn how to speak human language there? Oh, okay. Well, we're leaving. And going right back to where we died, but that's okay. We're going somewhere different this time. Oh, look at all these awesome moths here that are looking for a caretaker. I will free you. What are you? A recipe? I don't know what those do. Is this another way into the attic? Holy shit, it is. Oh, no wonder he, like, knows how to... Oh, fuck. Uh, well, I mean, as long as we don't run into him, I guess we're fine. Um... Oh shit, I went... I did a loop. How do I get this fucking moth? Can I put this food down anywhere? What do I do with it? What we need is a key, right? I haven't really found one. Oh! Oh my god! Please don't kill me. I've worked so hard. You don't even know. I've worked unbelievably hard. You can't climb stairs like I can. I still don't have... Ooh! How did you do that? Oh, man, that is a terrifying sound. Okay, well, I still gotta go up. I guess I haven't gone to the basement. I'll just go there. How are you doing this? Are there more of you? There must be more of you. Was that it? Oh my god. What is this? A new area. We got them. We got them all. Now what? What do we do when we have them all? Can we just leave? This is so fucked. Alright. We have one last thing we gotta do, and that's survive. Where the fuck am I, dude? Oh, I know where we are. Yeah, dude. What is this key, though? I'm kind of curious. Let's see if it opens this door over here. What the hell is this? Oh, I don't like it. Did I release the... I'm leaving. I can't even see. I ran because I was afraid. But what happened? I want to know. Oh my god. You're a giant moth. I'm going to feed you. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper, you see. The king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He's already tired of eating little moths. Fuck off. Flying by past him once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a... A great soup. Please make soup and feed the Moth King. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better... 
will be if you make soup from other ingredients. Okay. I don't care what your fucking garbage king likes. I already made this one. And it seems like I can make all of them. So I'll take this one now. And we'll feed him this one. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Terrifying. Terrifying giant moth. And he's not the king. Yeah, dude. I can't believe we have enough. I guess we do have, uh, what? Thousands? Roughly a thousand. Thank you for feeding the Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the King's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make the those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there's no choice, so goodbye. Fuck off. I'm leaving. I went to Moth Hell. Is my dad here? Can I at least see him? That'd be kind of cool. Hey, Dad. I hate you. A lot. Oh, I was a moth. Moth house. A game by Ken Forrest. So not the guy that I thought it was. Not the duck guy. Alright, I'm pretty pissed off about that ending. I didn't want to give him soup. You know? Fuck the Moth King. So I'll go catch everything real quick and then we could just leave. The last one's in the bathroom, I think. Yeah, there you are. Got him. Yeah, that's all of them. And we never even got caught, so let's see if we could leave now. That'd be cool. Free a few more, why not? It's a very fast game when you aren't scared of anything. Yay! I did it for you, Dad. Number 4839203. Moth house. That was it? That was the good ending? I'm not happy with that. Alright, well what happens when you just die then? Alright, so there's nothing to lose in this game and I don't want to keep trying for endings, <laughs> to be completely honest. Alright guys, so that was Moth House. What do I think of the game? I think this game is pretty cool. I think the idea is pretty cool and I think it's really, really creepy. I didn't care much for the whole cooking soup for the Moth King thing. I don't know, it just kind of, I, to me, personally, it kind of cheapens a bit what's happening here. Suddenly it turns the Moth King from like a really creepy, scary abomination to like this guy who's just hungry and he's cranky because he's hungry. And then because of that, we get sent to Moth Hell. Uh, I don't know. Uh, certainly not the direction I would have taken and certainly not a direction that I would have ever guessed this game would take. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm a fan of the leave ending either because it's it's so much less detailed than the soup ending. And even though I caught all the moths, I didn't get like a special ending. I don't know. Maybe I messed something up. I'm not sure. Uh, I just don't feel like going through the whole thing and cooking soup for the Moth King again. Because I don't know which ones he would like. I still think it's a cool game though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you should consider subscribing. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Goodbye.